Saturday afternoon rugby returns to the Liberty Stadium this Saturday, so join us at Darcy as we look forward to the game. We'll be joined by James King, Jeff Hassler and Chris Gibbs. Welcome back to Clandarcy, Jeff. We know you've been back home in Canada on international duty. How was that for you? Oh, it was good. I mean, uh, we missed out on a bunch of the internationals this summer and stuff, so it was good to go back and, and to see some of the guys I've been playing with for the last couple of years. Uh, you literally arrived back in Wales on Monday. Uh, how are you finding it being back in the thick of things in the lead up to such an important match against Zebra this Saturday? Uh, well, I, I guess you kind of forget what it's like week to week because it was just straight back into it and, uh, you know, flying around today, uh, fast pace and, you know, it's good. I'm excited to get back out there. I see you sporting a bit of uh, top lip fashion there. November is obviously in everyone's minds at the moment, particularly with the sad news of uh, Matthew Reese. Is there a particular charity you're supporting this year or a message you're trying to promote? Uh, we just do uh, the same thing every year. We have a, a page with all the Rugby Canada guys that you know just try and pull money together. So, same thing that we do every year with that. This weekend, we're making a return to Saturday afternoon rugby. So, join us back at the Liberty Stadium as we take on Zebra. With a 2:30 p.m. kickoff, it's perfect for families. So, join us in our extended ozone. We'll have all the usual fun and games going on in the inside, but there'll also be plenty going on the outside to get involved in, including live music from the Wave, the popular Ospreys inflatables. As the festive season gets underway, count down to Christmas with our club shop. There'll be a different offer every week from now until Christmas. Starting this week, 10% off all Cougar training and leisure wear, available in-store and online at shop.ospreysrugby.com. Check out our website next Monday when the next deal is revealed. We're also continuing our great deals on private hospitality boxes at just £29 per person for Glasgow. It includes a private mini bar, flat screen TVs and panoramic views of the pitch. You'll even have the chance to meet some of the players before the game, the ideal opportunity to get those Christmas presents personalised. For more information or to book, just call Savvy Jamal on 01 792 616 500. James, we welcome Italian rival Zebra this weekend as we make a return to Saturday afternoon rugby. With the 2.30 p.m. kickoff, it's perfect for young families, so the stadium should be pretty full. How much of a difference does that make to you when you're on the pitch? No, obviously, you know, you want to be going out there and you want to be playing in front of a good home crowd. Um, you know, it's really important to us as players, you know, you know don't want to be playing in a, in a quiet stadium. And, you know, when you're there on that five metre line with the crowd rolling you on, it really does, you know, give you that extra one percent. It's been a tough few weeks and it's not going to get any easier with Zebra at home this weekend as we've just discussed and Glasgow on the following Friday. What's the feeling been around the camp as preparations get underway? No, I mean we feel we're in a really good place. Um, you know, we're back into the first game of the Ravelo after a, a break for the LVs and uh, you know, this is the part of the season where you know, it's really important that we do get these results and this tends to be the part of the season where we do get the results and uh, these results are going to be what counts at the end of the season. Finally, on a slightly uh, lighter note, uh, you were renowned for being quite frugal with your money and uh, I've been told that you're affectionately known as Cash King amongst the squad. Uh, do you have any Christmas money saving tips for us? Uh, who are these? Who's your source? <laughs> Sources? No. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Christmas tips. No, I, I maybe change your energy supplier because uh, you know the big six have put their prices up again so maybe if you change the supplier you might have a bit more for Christmas presents. Chris, there's no getting away from the fact it's been a really tough time over the last few weeks, um, but we've always known that this period is going to be about the bigger picture. Um, it's given us an opportunity to uh, look at the younger players and see them really stand up, and it's been great to see their grit and determination, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's from, uh, from a coaching perspective, my first um, time with the younger group. Um, so it's been, it's been really uh, rewarding. So we've been able to have a good look at um, young guys coming through and putting them under the pressures of um, some big games. You know, both, both Leicester and the Blues games were, were quite intense and there's quite a bit of pressure. And we, like I say, we learned a hell of a lot about them. Right. As someone who's new to the structure of Northern Hemisphere Rugby, uh, how have you been finding it over the last few weeks with the start of the LV Cup and, and the loss of so many international players? Yeah, it's a little bit different and something that you've got to get used to, but um, again, we sort of had in our planning, we knew that this was coming, and so we've been sort of making preparations for that, and uh, again, it's just uh, it's good to have 
a lot of young guys are sitting underneath that you can they can step up and fill that opportunity and you know promising situation for us is that they're really hungry and they want to pull the Ospreys jersey on and so again it's just been it's been quite a quite an exciting two weeks. Hey looking ahead to this weekend we're obviously back to the Pro 12 as we take on Zebra at home at the Liberty Stadium. Um, it's going to be another tough match with Zebra proving themselves so far this season uh, even defeating the Blues at the Arms Park back in September. What's the feeling in the camp like as though we look forward to the game? Um, there's an era of excitement. Obviously, we're back into Pro 12 rugby, and uh, we're really looking forward to that. Again, we're getting back on our home home track. Um, again, a few boys have come back in after having a couple of weeks off, so there's a bit of an era of excitement around the place, which is really good. We know that uh, Zebra will be wanting to come and play. They're an exciting team that uh, that really want to put it around. So, again, we know we're going to have a real good battle on our hands. It's going to be competitive, but uh, again, real really excited. That's all from Plan Darcy this week. Make sure you're there this Saturday afternoon for a 2.30pm kickoff as we take on Zebra.